So, as people probably know, Nintendo uh, shadow dropped Metroid Prime Remastered the other day, and everyone lost their shit. Yep, everyone did lose their. Shit. Yep, it's alright. I'll, I'll bleep that out. So okay. I'll bleep your bleep as well, and okay. all these bleeps that I'm saying, I'll bleep out. <laughs> it just sounds like we're just swearing constantly. All right, that'd be Fair funny. Enough. I don't know, maybe. Yeah. Um, yeah, so everyone was really excited about Metroid Prime and raving about it and downloading it straight away because it was shadow dropped as a eShop game. Yeah. And there's me sort of, you know, feeling like I'm I'm a bit left out on all the hype because I've never actually played Metroid Prime. I can't Shocking, believe you I know. I can't believe you've never played Metroid Prime. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. Because you had it, and Sam had yeah. it. And you um, had the Metroid Trilogy on the Wii. Yeah, but I never opened that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, just, I just kept it sealed, because it started being rare, so... Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, so I, I watched Sam play it a lot, and remember thinking it was amazing, and I should play it, and had the opportunity to, to borrow it off him or off you, and then, I don't know, I just never did. And then I saw the video of the remaster, I was like, yeah really want to play this so i um i tried to pre-order it couldn't find it anywhere and i like to have my games physical so i wasn't going to pay for the download thing eventually found it direct from nintendo so it's coming okay. it's on its way from vancouver all nice. the way over yeah it comes so, earlier for you uh yeah it's actually came out on the 22nd oh have you but not got it, it yet take- no, because it would, they ship it on that date, so it said it would take about five days. Uh, and to get the extra free shipping, I um, bought myself a pair of Donkey Kong pajama bombs. Nice. So that was a bonus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've pre-ordered mine. I get mine yeah. on Friday, the third. The third. Is that March. when it's out? Yeah. Yeah. Amazon said, "Yep, you'll get it on this day." So. Because people have been scalping it, haven't they? Yep. Like I've seen copies up for like hundred and fifty dollars. Is that is that the same in the UK? People have been scalping it. Oh, not out yet. But have they been scalping like their pre orders, like putting it up saying oh, like, you know I have, I have no idea. <clears throat> I've only seen pictures on Twitter of like it being scalped for dollars. Oh okay. So imagine it's been doing a lot in America. Yeah. So because I've never played it before, I just thought maybe you could tell me a bit about the game. Alright. <laughs> Bearing in mind it's been like 20 years or 15 years since I've played it. Well, I also thought it would be funny that if you're just like, oh yeah, there's this level when you do this and then we play the remaster and that's just not it at all. You've just dreamt it up. I remember the beginning. You would yeah. have liked the original because it had golden eye controls. Oh yeah. Hopefully One the remaster stick. still has. They've changed the controls to like modern, but I think you can customise them to play a retro. I'll be doing that. But I remember it was graphically it was insane. Like considering it is a GameCube game. At the time yeah. I thought it looked like one of the best games I've ever played. Yeah. Uh you start off on this uh, space station kind of thing and Samus ends up losing all of her powers. And then you just go to different planets and you like get your power ups as you go along. You can scan basically everything to find out all about the worlds that you visit. Yeah. Yeah, there's Metroids everywhere and (laughs) there's, uh, you know, Ridley's around. It is is very good. I love this really in-depth description of the game. There's Metroids, there's a Samus, there's space. (laughs) Yeah. How many years since you last played it? Oh, well, whenever it came out. 2002, 2003? Yeah, I don't know. Around about then. I tried playing the trilogy on the Wii, but at that point, I was just so tired of the Wii controls that I just gave up. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I've never played Skyward Sword. You had Skyward Sword, though, didn't you? I have Skyward Sword, yeah. I even bought this limited edition that came with the... 20th anniversary CD of the soundtrack and the gold. gold Wii remote. Yeah. But the controls are just so bad, I just never played it. 
You must have played it to know the controls are bad. I got to the fiery level. Yeah. I don't know how far that is. I don't know. I can't remember. I got as far to yeah. when you do the weird time travel bit. I didn't even know there was time travel in it. Well, I say time travel. You basically just like change the the age of an area, almost. I don't know. Very, yeah, very you vaguely can... remember. Yeah. Anyway, I'm, this, this is talking about Metroid, not Skyward Sword. <laughs> <laughs> Five minutes off topic. Standard. Um. I know in the Super. original on the on on the original on the GameCube you could get the Metroid Fusion costume by connecting your Game Boy Advance to the the GameCube. That's cool. I wonder if they've kept that in as like an unlockable. Or... If you've played Dread or something. Or shoot, Metroid Fusion is on the uh, Game Boy Advance Nintendo service now, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know if they've added Maybe that though. They could do that some sort of link. Didn't it also oh, have yeah. the original Metroid games on it? Had the original Metroid. I thought it had the original Metroid as an unlockable. Who knows? I did complete it. You <laughs> before I had. But I did complete it. <laughs> I can't believe you never played it. No, I never did. Well, you, you are watched, watched a lot of it. Good. It's one of those rare bonuses when you sort of, for some reason, like a game just passes you by, you never get around to playing a game. And then like 20 years later when they remaster it and most modern games are terrible, you go, oh, this game's amazing. I get to enjoy it. Yeah. It's, yeah. It was a very good take on the Metroid series. Like, going from the side-scrolling style to first person. Yeah, they did it really well. I might have dreamt this, but I very vaguely remember playing multiplayer Metroid with you on the GameCube. Hmm. DS? No, it wasn't the DS. It was on the GameCube. It sat on your bed. Was it Metroid 2 had multiplayer? Oh, maybe actually. Hold on. <laughs> Hang on. Tip tap, tip tap, tip tap, tip tap, tip tap. Oh, you're, you're, me... you're going to manual search from your shelf. <laughs> He's got the box. I'm going to check. Huh? I said, You've got the box. You're going to check. It is. Metroid Prime 2 was 1 to 4 player. Oh, yeah, it was my player. Where's my camera? I do remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah, I never completed the second one. No. I got to a boss and I just kept dying, so I gave up. Yeah. I, I've heard they've added like an easy mode to it as well for, the, for remastered, for like people like me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know. What, what they've added to it, to be honest, apart from the yeah. improved graphics. Which people some... are going really mental about on Twitter, like in a good way, saying that it oh. just looks incredible. Like some people are saying it looks like the best Switch game. When I saw it, I was like, yeah, looks like how I remember Metroid Prime looking. And then I watched <laughs> like a comparison video and I'm like, oh, yeah, no, it didn't at all. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm excited but, to get it. Yeah. It's um, it's not like a normal first-person shooter, though, is it? Because you've got, it's almost like an adventure game in first person. Because there's like almost like platforming elements, isn't there? I yeah. remember. Yeah, yeah, there's a few platform elements, and when you go into your Samus Ball, whatever you want to call it, Morph Ball. <laughs> when yeah. you go into your Samus Ball. Uh, I... <laughs> yeah, there's like little platforming elements in there. Yeah. Like sometimes it's a bit two D side scrolly. You have to like. Work your way through like little mazes. Hmm. Yeah, I'm quite excited. You should be. You if it eventually be. turns up, I've still got to play Metroid Dread. I've had it for ages, just never played it. No. No. This seems to be a recurring theme. Yeah. I've had this game for twenty years. Never played it. Yeah. Is it still I've sealed? Got loads of games. No. Oh, you just unsealed it, opened it up. Had a smell of the box and then closed it back up again. I was intending to play it, but I just okay. never got around to it. All right. But yeah, maybe that's for another another video series. <laughs> Ian plays yeah. Metroid Dread. <laughs> In twenty years time. Fiftieth <laughs> <laughs> birthday special. Ian plays Metroid Dread. And Pokemon Arceus. 
Have you still not played that? I got past like the tutorial bit, you know, where you yeah. leave the first village, mm -hmm. and then that was it. Oh, that's a good game, that is. Yeah, I know everyone says so, but I just, not I just get distracted. Either. I just get distracted by other games. Mario Kart. Mario Kart. Um, I'll go back to Breath of the Wild, pretty much all the time. Mm. Just collect five Koroks, turn it off, reload it, collect five more Koroks, turn it off. <laughs> but by the time you found gold five, too. yeah, by the time you found five, you've been on it for like six hours. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. And then yeah, obviously I've been playing a lot of Game Pass games, so I just don't don't have the time. Yeah. All these games. All these games, so little time. Yeah. I need so to be like some of these people that I follow on Twitter that just don't seem to have a life, no job. That's, they that's just because play. their job is to be YouTube or Twitter people. Mm, maybe. Yeah. So maybe. are you actually going to play Metroid Prime when it arrives? Or is it going to be yeah. one of those games that arrives and you just sort of like, oh yeah, I'll get around to playing that and you just don't. So there are certain games on the Switch that I'm happy to play handheld mode. Yeah. And then there are other ones where I want to experience it on a TV. Okay. And I feel like Metroid Dread is a TV experience, which is why I haven't played it yet. But Metroid yeah. Prime, because I've already completed it on the GameCube, I can play that handheld. Yeah. That's the best thing go. about the Switch. Laying in bed, playing it. Yeah. Yeah. It's got good music as well, Metroid Prime. I remember. Yeah. Yeah. It's mm. atmospheric. It's good. Space Pirates. I remember the Space Pirates. Space Pirates. <laughs> yep. <laughs> They come out with your eye patches and they're metal parrots. Metal parrots? I'm joking, they don't come out with you. Oh. They're not like pirates. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what is this game? I don't remember seeing They're not any like of this. pirates in space. <laughs> <laughs> you see Jack Sparrow appear every now and then. <laughs> yeah. Metal dreadlocks. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You're in for a well, treat. We'll do, we'll, we'll do a follow up video once we've both received our copies and we've played it mm -hmm. and so we'll think of this as part one people know what we think yeah metroid the pre-game of metroid this is the yeah the, the um, amping up for it yeah the pre-game lobby yeah the pre-game lobby <laughs> it's not enough swearing for that there was at the beginning oh yeah i suppose i mean there was that one <laughs> swear word and then everything else was just bleeped just to make it seem like we were swearing Oh, don't reveal the secrets. But if people oh, have got this far, then it doesn't matter, does it? I was about to say, no one would have got this far anyway. <laughs> they would have heard us talk for four minutes, then go off tangent onto Skyward Sword and be like, this isn't about Metroid, and then just turn yeah. the video off. For the first like 30 seconds, and be like, these guys don't know what they're on about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, should we wrap it up right. then? Yeah. See you follow in game. Follow-up video. Follow video when Metroid Prime remaster arrives at our houses yes cool cool